Hi guys. The European Union has its own law enforcement agency, Europol. And in an effort to let the public help in catching the biggest criminals, they have released an unusual advent calendar. Behind every door you don't find any chocolates, but the names and faces of the most dangerous criminals from the different countries of the EU. Every day a new video is released, giving the public a new name and face to look out for. This week I am playing a game that puts you in the shoes of one of the most notorious killers of the 19th century. Or let you and your friends work together to try and catch him. This week I am playing Letters from Whitechapel. In Letters from Whitechapel, one player takes on the role of Jack the Ripper, who tries to take five victims and then make it home safely. The other players are police officers that need to work together to try and catch him. The game is set in the poor and dreary Whitechapel district in London in the year 1888. The game is played over four nights. The game board has a lot of numbers on it and Jack keeps track of his whereabouts by writing his location on his movement sheet. He is never visible on the board but what the police officers do know is where his victim is and that means where Jack is at that very moment. But by the time they get to the crime scene he is already a couple of steps away so they try to find a trail. Every turn police officers can ask one of two questions. The first one is, has Jack the Ripper been on this adjacent number during this night? When yes, you put a transparent marker on it, giving you a breadcrumb, a trail of where Jack the Ripper went this night. But if you're wrong, you get nothing. The other question is, if Jack the Ripper is here this very moment, then you apprehend him. When you're right, the game is immediately over and the good guys won. But if you're wrong, you know nothing. Letters from Whitechapel is tense. I prefer it as a two-player game where one person is Jack and the other person is the entire police force. But of course you can add more players and divide the police officers. There is so much more going on compared to the classic game Scotland Yard. It is so exciting and makes me want to play it right this very moment. A big recommendation from me for Letters from Whitechapel. Thanks for watching, my name is Dave Luza, see you next week.